If a customer wants to build or buy off the plan, there's no wrong decision. Buyers who want to build have all the choices from customising the architecturals all the way through to the interiors. Buying off the plan is a little bit different. The developer or the builder has made the initial decisions in regard to the type of product and the prices and everything else for you and made the best calls in regard to the way that a product should present. Obviously, when the customer chooses to build themselves, the time frame at the very start, making the decisions of the builder, product type, finishes and everything else. So it may take a bit longer, but the customer is in full control. Certainly, in regard to style, the customer, when they build, can choose the style and really individualise what they're trying to develop. There's a, heaps of builders to choose from, heaps of housing products to choose, and then they can actually go and change the design themselves. Buying off the plan takes away that front end of time and really the customer can concentrate on the product that's for them and it takes away all that uncertainty. So if you're a quick decision maker, you buy off the plan. So the development builder normally looks at the catchment, looks at different price points and develops the product they think is suitable for the location and for the price points that you're after. Canopy is a great example of product diversity. It has two and three storey and two, three and four bedroom product can be bought. There's 97 choices here at Canopy. It really has a wide variety of price points and product types. My number one tip would be to understand the market. Make sure you put the time in to understand what the market is in the location where you're looking to buy. Make sure you understand the different product types and price points. Secondly, really understand the location. Look at the potential of the place you're buying into, what it has in the future, what it has at the moment, what transport, what open space, what schools are available to that location, and what potential for that particular suburb or project has into the future. And thirdly is really the all important finance. Make sure you spend the time to sit down with your bank or your broker and understand how much you can lend. Allow for the interest changes in the future and also what your financial plan is into the future. So make time to understand how much you can afford.